I'm Jerry Bierman, Professor of Economics and Sociology. This book is on a really important topic, and this question of social mobility. In my chapters on human capital, going to school is an input into producing human capital, producing better cognitive skills, better social-emotional skills. And our interest in this book is focusing on low- and middle-income countries. Very important in the low- and middle-income countries is nutrition. Currently, about 150 million children under five are estimated to be chronically undernourished. Well over a billion adults were chronically undernourished as children and are suffering from less cognitive development, less social-emotional development than they could have had uh, had that undernutrition in early life been avoided. What the parents affect most directly are not earnings or occupations of the children, but the human capital of the children. How healthy are their children? How knowledgeable are their children? How able are their children to adjust to changing uh, economies, changes in the world? The key takeaway is that human capital presents one important set of opportunities for affecting social mobility. Designing the right interventions always is difficult. One needs to be sensitive to the context. For example, this problem of widespread chronic nutrition is hardly a problem in Europe. Greater investment needs to be made in the children of poor parents. That will give those children a wider range of human capital uh, potentialities. What UN Water can do is set the agenda to inspire research that can help us understand this complex issue.